I got back, mine. Folks. Uh, to the Crystal Book and Black Coin. I am your host and DM, Lord Lucon. Starting from right to left, go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself and who are you playing as? Starting with Fabio. Hello, I'm Christopher, and my character is Fabio. He is a, as it says here, a young adult male unicorn, very fond of ballet. He always enjoys prancing around in a tutu. He was a good friend of Hofer Steps, the young colt, whom Apple Bloom helped get his cutie mark in the one episode. That's, Enjoy that's dancing. Tender. It was tender taps. I'm so Apple Bloom. Let held. him finish his intro. And he enjoys dining at the Tasty Treat with Saffron Masala in Canterlot. Hope is to just be the figurative princess of dance, much like when Sky Singer half joked, "Should I be the princess of flying?" That's his dream. Excellent, Andrew Brighthorn. Tell us a little bit about yourself and who are you playing as? My name's Andrew. I like video games and. Names and my character is Brighthorn, and a young male unicorn who earned with great powers, and he wanted us to use them for good. And wherever he he can, and, and he helps someone. Excellent, Derek Kitty, a returning oh. character. Tell us a little bit about yourself and who are you playing as. Hey, it's me, Dare Kitty, once again. I did not fall asleep before this session, so that's why I'm here. Whoop. Um, I am playing Radka, uh, an overconfident and fussy yak from Yak Yakistan. So, your stereotypical yak. Uh, she wants to get Thor's, uh, she wants to fi eventually find Milnir and become mm -hmm. like Thor. I'm I don't know if that's a concept that just came up in last last time I was here. Okay. On to you, Luckus Box. <laughs> <laughs> well well, hello there. Um Hello there. Um my name is uh Silversight and I'm playing a um uh, lightning charged um Pegasus Mayor named Lucky Sparks. She's always wanting to help as much as possible, and um, uh, well, with her friends, she'll always keep on going, and keep on helping. Nice. Well, as much as she can. Hogarth. Winter Sparks, tell us a little bit about yourself and who are you playing as? Hello, I'm Hogarth. I play Winter Sparks. And over mm, an incredibly anxious and nervous wreck. Used to be an adventurer. Kind of. Wasn't the greatest at it, but he tried. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's about it. <laughs> Just things that's greatest. <laughs> All right, Snow, we have a brand new player. Tell us a little bit about yourself and who are you playing as? Hello, everyone. I'm playing as, well, Snow Comet. <laughs> and he is a Pegasus who, unlike many others that he knew that was all about the Wonderbolt, he wanted to prove that he can be a member of Her Majesty's Guard. Sadly, he didn't make the cut. Oof. But that didn't disparage him. For he tries, he found a new purpose. Protecting those that can't defend themselves. Uh, I believe Princess Twilight Sparkle has sent you with this band of adventurers. Uh, before teleporting off to, to confront one of the elements of disharmony. Uh, tell us about what happened last time, guys. What happened? <laughs> We were at the beneath. We were 
her beneath the Flim Flam Brothers Superstore, where it turns out it was actually a headquarters for her greed. At the bottom, we found someone we thought we originally came to find diamond and Tiara so we could escort, as in we thought, and she was being held captive. He there she wasn't, but so on what is hell on cap? Um, but it tur turned out it was but it, tur but it turned out to be another one of the elements of disharmony. Yeah, the element of deceit. Yep. She. He tried. Listen to free. In her opening and, op and opening a port portal to where Greed was imprisoned, we we would have gone and fought on him, but we were too weak from um, the previous battles and the and the and the endeavors, and that ended up a free and deceit. So we had, had to leave. Yeah. Let's just say it didn't turn out so um so well when that happened. Didn't turn out that well. We informed the Flim Flam brothers that they too were deceived, so they were gonna they leave Ponyville. Out there. They were gonna leave Ponyville as soon as possible. Once that was done, we had some debate with Princess Twilight and her friends on how to handle what was to come, they made their decisions to go confront greed, while we ourselves decided to finish what we started, that of escorting Diamond Tiara, who was with her family back home, to escort her and the merchant to Kluge Town. Yeah, it didn't turn out as well as we hoped, in fact, it kind of nearly backfired on us with that part. But at least now we have our sights set on the target we need to get. And what is that target? Wait. The target that's somewhere in the Sea of Clouds, which is south of Kluge Town. Oh, Pretty much shit. in the in the cloud sea. That's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> what is it that you seek? The cloud of... for the crystal book and the black wine. Ah oh, yes. Uh, this is where we open up. Uh, you guys are taking a train away from Ponyville, heading south towards Cluj Town. Everybody get yeah, restored quite... HP as this is a safe area. Oh, good. I guess I'll be at full HP now. <laughs> this is a time where your party may interact with one another. This is where I, as the DM, shuts up as you guys are traveling down uh, the train line. Heading south. I'll show you on the maps. You guys are currently in Ponyville. Heading south. <clears throat> oh, so and you said you have full HP now? Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Yes, you guys are currently within a safe area. You guys are on the Wait. train heading south. Hey, thank you. And I will be keeping a watchful eye on Diamond Tiara per my job to make sure that she's safe. Uh, you see Volo and uh, Diamond Tiara, who are currently with you. Volo has uh, reluctantly gone into the baggage area with his brand new cart, which you guys have uh, wonderfully purchased for him. Diamond Tiara seems a little uh, upset at you guys um, because you guys abandoned her <laughs> with the Griffins um, and went off and did your own thing. 
uh, went and confronted uh, despair. Another element of disharmony. <clears throat> what do you guys do as you guys finally settle down into bed, right? So there's like a sleeping cart and everything else. As the train of the local motion and the distant what do you guys do as you settle down? Pony train's so noisy. The act trains are better at being silent. <laughs> oh, Rodka. Oh. <laughs> oh, really, really, Rodka? We'll have to take a train up to Yakyakistan sometime to make that comparison. You can't. Ponies don't have trains that go straight to Yakyakistan. It stops and then you have to walk. Ponies can't figure out how to build a train over mountains. Yeah. Or maybe they're just, or maybe they just haven't had the time yet. I wouldn't be surprised. Although I would hope that Prince Rutherford and his entourage were able to appreciate the train when they first came to Ponyville seeking friendship. Mm, been a while since Prince Rutherford's been in power, but okay. Oh, I'm just simply I'm just simply stating history from class. And that was before even Yona came along. And she was the first student. So, uh, mind if I ask y'all how y'all came about this whole mishap? Well, the problem was, first of all, asking Discord for help. That was the first mistake. And I've learned that in our experience that we cannot ask others to solve our problems or to expect too much help from them. It seemed pretty easy for Discord to just snap his fingers like we've always seen him do and teleport us to Kluge Town, but since he is chaos, the results are never guaranteed. I'm pretty sure that Princess Twilight and the others, they're trusting us to be able to solve our own problems without their help too much. Sounds right. right. And the second problem was one of us was a little impulsive to leap into that magic circle and we couldn't abandon him. A little impulsive? Yes. He leaped right into that magic circle underground where that led to those four challenges of the elements. And while they were good, I just think our timing was way, way off. We should have we should have taken Diamond Tiara to Kluge Town first, as we said we would, and then come back and taken care of that in order. Yeah, but we didn't didn't know where. Yeah, but we thought she was un, un underneath this the super store. When in reality she was when she was me in hell that and at the tree at the tree house of friendship. You don't understand. She was with us the first time Discord teleported us. Oh. Oh, I thought you were referring... Oh, I thought you were referring to the... Uh, uh, oh, uh, never mind. So like I thought I you said, were referring to what happened recently. No, our first mistake was asking Discord to teleport us to Clue Town, and that didn't work. And then there was just a big delay by getting involved in those four challenges of the elements. You think the kid is going to be all right? Hmm? What did you say? I said, you think the kid's going to be all right? 
What kid? Y'all mentioned Diamond Tiara. <laughs> Not a kid anymore. Um, um, I, um actually, I'm a, a character. Um, Snow Comet. Um, in this, um, D and D, um, Diamond Tiara is not actually a kid in this. In Ooh, this, D and D, she's a grown up. Okay, my bad. This is all season nine. Yeah, this is uh towards the end of season. What was it? Nine or ten? This About yeah, season nine. Sorry, that. Yep. My bad. Yeah, it's like. In the future, after season nine ended. Yep, everybody's much older. Everybody think of an age category, just move them up one. Okay. I'll, yeah. I'll remember that. <laughs> um. And yeah, our character, uh, Lord Lucon, I'll be right back. I want to reheat my coffee. It won't take too long. I believe Radka was pulling out a book. Why don't you tell us a little oh. bit about it? Radka pulls out the um, black coin book, uh, the crystal book. Ow, stop clawing me. Sorry, my cat just that clawed me. That is a my... good question. Who has the black coin? I do not wish to touch it or have it on my, in my saddlebags. Uh, Granted, I would be willing, simply for the sake of keeping, <laughs> excuse me, keeping it safe with no intention of using it. And the fact that I always use my magic to move it around, I will not dare physically touch it. Excellent. Roll me a teleportation as uh, you double check for the black coin. Ah. Uh. Uh, you have no problems manipulating this small object. You get a sense of screaming in the back of your mind as you manipulate it, but it has no uh, no influence over you. It is such a simple, simple thing. The coin seems to absorb all light and hope around you. I am not going to let it give me trouble. I will just, if I have to put it away in a lead, in a box made of lead and cover that in cloth and well with chains. Uh, hope emerges out of the despair that the black coin brought out. And you see what appears to be a crystal book of sorts. I do remember the crystal book, as it, it was given to us by the the guardian of the elements. Uh, Radka would like to read from the uh, use the crystal book ability to heal people, but wait, if we're all at full health, and I don't need to. Is this how you guys heal up? And that would seem like now we're already fully healed. Um, let's save it for later. Some of us are not fully healed. Yeah, that's where I'm confused. I thought you said that we were at full health. Uh, so I'm assuming you guys are resting on the train, correct? Okay, so we yeah. can go to full health already. Uh, so to be clear. I have heard nobody said that I'm going to bed. Um, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Also, okay, really I'm going to bed. Uh, considering there, there's okay. not much I can do here on the train. Um. Yeah, I think I want to go to go and take a rest. Uh. Well, Go ahead. I would like to do a mind check on the ice bow before going to bed. Uh, are you attempting to identify anything? Yes, I am. Sorry, Faria. 
What are you attempting to identify? The ice bow, the ancient ice bow. Excellent. Go ahead and roll me a mind as you attempt to identify the ancient ice bow. Um, would I be able to roll my alchemy with that? Uh, this, let me see here. Give me a second. Is this alchemy? No, this is definitely magic. This is definitely magic. Mm. This isn't uh, mixing chemicals and turning stuff into gold. Darn. Yep. This is definitely magic. Okay. I don't think I rolled high enough to um, identify anything. Don't forget, oh. you get upgrades if somebody assists you. Is anybody assisting you? Actually, screw it. I'm doing three tokens. Okay, you're auto succeeding. Yeah, I'm tired of you know messing around when we come to these objects, and I exactly know what Dynasty did since we uh, since I used it last time. Uh, you did not completely identify it last time. <laughs> Paste, save, show players. <laughs> Thank you. Cloud killer. Sweet. Oh, that would work great with someone's cloud wrangling abilities. Oh. Hmm. Oh my gosh, that will be awesome. Yeah. Death row above. <laughs> yep. Death row above. <laughs> hmm. Close. Well, well, the Pegasi in ancient times, they were quite the warriors. Hmm. Sweet. Um, okay. Remember and everything under it, though. That's okay. <laughs> just don't be under it when it drops. <laughs> I'm just, you know, the outcome, as long as the evil dies, it's all right. And now Ragga sleeps. Okay, Radka goes to bed. What is everyone else doing? Uh, a trolley sleep. comes up. With food, trolley comes up and says, anybody want some yummy, delicious snacks? Uh, Earth uh, Pony nods to you and says, hello. Wow, you guys look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for stating the obvious, Mr. Um, I'm sorry, what's your name is? Uh, Goldilocks. Goldilocks. Pleasure to meet you. Say up. Uh, do those snacks involve any fruits? Uh, yes. Would you Perfect. Like some? Yes, please. It'll be five bits. Five bits? Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, how much do you all have? Let's see here. Uh, are you looking for fruity snacks? She currently has two fruity snacks on the pallet, on the little tray, on the food tray. Uh, be yeah, ten I'll bits in total. Ten bits. Obtain okay. two fruity snacks. Hey, and uh, out of question, uh, how much do new players usually have for bits? Uh, four hundred. Four hundred. Correct. Okay, I did spend. Uh, here you go, sir. That's two bits. Uh, thank you very much. Anybody else want any snacks? Uh, she looks at the yak snowing logs with a bow underneath her armpit. <laughs> I look to Diamond Tiara. Was, is there anything you would like and your friend the merchant? Uh, Volo like snarl, snarls and like, I brought my own food. Uh, Diamond Tiara says, yes, please. Uh, I'd like me some uh, chocolate cake. She gets I'll have pieces of chocolate cake. I, I will I will gladly buy those for her. Uh, there are once again five bits a piece. So obtain one for you and one for Diamond Tiara. I will mark it in her inventory. All right. Actually, she's going to eat it. <laughs> not mark it I'll, Just go I'll, I'll have mine with her. Okay. Just share the cake together. Uh, would anybody else like to identify the items within your uh, inventory? I think all the other items have been identified. Have they? Oh, yeah, you haven't got those. <laughs> well, just check. It's not my job. I just give out stuff. It's up to you guys what you guys want to do with it. 
I just I'll look by over up. It's a law and order met the Soviet. Uh. Uh, Snow sees the uh, bow and arrow that Yadga is sleeping with mm -hmm. and looks over to Silvo. Hey, Silvo, what's that bow, bow she has? Uh, he shows you the bow. Uh, it is an ancient ice bow called Cloud Killer. Can you see it? Yep. Okay. Read over it. There's also a whole bunch of other stuff that can be identified. Some stuff has been, some stuff hasn't been. Hmm. Is anybody going to stay up? Diamond Terra turns in after this. I will go to bed as well. I'll order a sandwich and then go to bed. Excellent. It'll be five bits. Mark it off. I'm going to bed as well. Uh, uh, Snow will eat one of the uh, foods he ate and go right to bed, seeing as he got nothing else to do. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, the next day. The very next day, you guys wake up refreshed, renewed, and revigored. You guys are at full HP. What do you guys do as the train continues on its path? What do you guys do when you're bored? I enjoy I enjoy dancing. I'll just put on I'll just put on a show for every pony. Excellent. I look at the wind. No, what do I see? Uh, from the fertile fields of um, Ponyville, uh, you start to notice, I believe, a forest. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and look at the maps. Uh, yep, you see a thick forest. Uh, you have slept through the mountains as they are guys traveling fast. You see mountains in the distance, and uh, you seem to be in some sort of valley of some sort. Hmm. Uh, the woodlands look wild, um, not kept or maintained, not by hmm. pony hooves, at least. No, oh, that must be that must be more of the Everfree Forest. Uh, no. The Everfree's Forest is far wilder than these woods. These look more <laughs> unnatural. Just unnatural we, to ponies. Also, uh, we've been... Also, we've slept overnight on a train. We, we're far away from Ponyville by this point. Oh yeah, very much so. Uh, you guys are fairly confident as you guys are past the, was it, Perilous Peaks? Um, you're heading close to uh, the edge of the uh, desert. What do you guys do as you guys continue down the train? Uh, Fabio is putting on a show and dancing. Go ahead and roll us a performance, Fabio. See if it's any good. It's damn good. Tell us a little bit about it. Huh? Since I ballet has always been my number one love, but I just put a little more spring in my step to make it lively, a little more energetic. I That's think the kind... some of the guests on the train like clap and like you actually get a audience, right? Like a bunch of people like showing up and watching your performance. And since I and since I'm always prancing around in a tutu, I usually present a very comical image, so I just make it very funny and comedic at the same time. It's like a a, a comedy ballet. Excellent. No. Uh, Snow see the desert stands, and he does sulk a bit, groaning, as it were. Uh, roll me a mind, Snow, as you're not paying attention. See if you notice some of the headlines in the newspapers. Nah, 
you're sulking. Mm. It's not a critical fail, but you're just, yeah, in your own little world. <laughs> Why does it have to be this? What is everybody else doing? Mm. Radko trying to find the, um, to see if they have vanilla cake. Um, let's see here. Yes, vanilla is not very popular on this train. You see like five pieces of uh, vanilla cake on the uh, uh, waitress as she's like passing back and forth saying, anybody want some snacks? Anybody, everybody good? Radko nods and says, Radko, take all five. Okay. <laughs> uh, roll me a charm uh, uh, as you attempt to do this. Charmy charm. Charmy charm charm. Boop. <laughs> would you like to uh, do this? I, I, I would like to use a token to re-roll, please. Of course you may, yes. Um, two tokens. Out of character. Um, token of darkness. I got a four. Uh, she says, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> she doesn't um, give you a special character, um, It's five and eight. 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 I don't eight. see you on roll 20. I don't see your see your image on there. Uh, refresh. I still see her. Oh, oh really? Oh, yeah, okay. I still see her. Uh, okay, so... It's just gonna... And then, uh, may I roll to see if the vanilla extract has been added properly? Please. Uh, for what? So to be, to be clear, uh, it's just normal price. Oh, no special prices or anything like that. You got it at five bits a pop. So that's five times five is twenty five. Twenty five. Is it really? Uh, okay. You got no special deal. All right. No, the... but Radka, you know, yaks like to have the vanilla balance just right. Um. Sure. Mm -hmm. Roll me odds. Roll me odds. Just see if she can notice the uh, vanilla abstract. Is that a D2? D100. It's the odds. Yeah. Yeah. You notice? It's a little bit sweeter than you're used to, actually. Vanilla abstract. Not right. Ponies can't make proper yak cake. Vanilla cake. Hmm. Um... Mm. Mm. Okay, so huh. okay, so I start. Uh, sorry. So what are you doing? Well, pr well, pretty much. I um, I start to, I start to um, I walk around, stretch out my legs. And then stretch on my wings as much as I can. Just get a little bit of exercise going. Sure. Go ahead and roll me a mind. You'll see if you notice any of the newspaper clippings and whatnot. As you're waltzing okay. around and flying. Yeah, just a low fly. Yeah. So, mind. Don't notice Ow. any difference. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, can I just walk around? Uh, you may, yes. What are you looking for in particular? Uh, honestly, not really much of anything. <laughs> if I pick up on things... Okay. Alright. We'll see. One. One. Uh, this one. Oh, I, I rolled two on I think. Okay. It's, a, it's a mind, not a body. Oh, my bad. I wrote that wrong. Oopsies. My bad. Uh, this one. God. Mm. Yep, nobody notices the newspaper clippings that are around. Uh, everything's fine. Everybody seems to be focusing and paying attention to Fabio's amazing dancing. Um, except for Snow. Snow is sultry by himself. Mm -hmm. uh, is anybody doing anything special? Nobody well, that. I'm actually, um, um, well, are, there any, are there any snacks around? Of course, yes. What are you looking for? I'm just wondering if, if they might have any zap apples. Oh, oh, oh. 
Um, roll me a D100. D100? That's going to be rare. Yeah. Let's see if they're in season. R. So this slash R one D hundred. Correct. Uh, Ooh. Yes, they do have zap apples. You are they just got a fresh shipment. Um which is kinda of weird I'm because you it. know you know that uh Sweet Apple Acres is currently un uh doesn't have very many employees. Uh and they're actually behind in shipments. But lucky for you, uh this train got one. <laughs> um how much are they? Uh so they only have two, and then roll me a D one hundred. Right. Uh, you know that they are forty-two uh, bits a piece for just oh. a snack of uh, uh, zap apple jam. Thanks. Uh, you know that zap apples is very rare. <clears throat> um, I'm just gonna get one. Obtain one uh, zap apple jam. <laughs> there we go. Uh, inside the case, you see what appears to be uh, lightning in a bottle, but it's actually rainbow in a bottle. <laughs> zap apple jam is very, very spectacular. It has unique properties. <laughs> It is a, an exotic spice, as some would consider it. Spice. What is everybody else doing? Hey, you re I look at the news, Abert, and see what's going on. Excellent. You read the newspaper, and you actually see uh, what appears to be some pirate attacks. Uh, <laughs> local recent pirate attacks. Uh, Diamond Tiara notices the uh, Zap Apple Jam and she purchases some. Um, I hope she knows that on Pegasi, I can um, actually eat it without any problem. Uh, mark it off. <laughs> um, so wait, what? Good question. Are you eating it? Actually, I want to save it for later, actually. All right. No, no, it's, just, no it's just sitting at the... Uh, it's sitting down looking through the window. All the desert. And just kind of being a complete grump. Um, so you guys are currently in the forest between... Uh, the two areas. You do not see desert yet. It will take some time to get there. What do you guys do as you continue to wait? Uh, I, I was, if I may go see Snow. Snow. Of course. Yeah. Give me a second. Don't forget, guys, this is a time where you guys can RP amongst each other. Find out a little bit about each other's characters. This is downtime for your characters to interact with each other. Without the uh, threat of death hovering above you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look at snow. Uh, so, 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 oh, um, uh, uh, what's going on? You, oh. You, you look upset. Uh, sorry, just... I just know that the train is heading towards the desert and not really looking forward to it. Not much of a hot kind of person. Oh, that's, that's, that's not very good. Yeah, but what are you going to do? Sometimes when life gives you lemons, you got to make lemonade. Oh, are you tossing about the window or not? Hmm? Nothing. Would you like a sandwich? I have some. Uh, if you like one. So why not? Okay. I hand you one of my sandwiches. Mm -hmm. 
There's a bologna. Uh, no, it's a pea and jelly. There you go. Pea and jelly sandwich. Yeah, I was about to say. Oh, yum. Oh, yeah. It's great. Okay. So, so what brought y'all together in the first place? I mean, what made y'all go into this journey? Well, I'm 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 gonna be taking a break from dancing, but I'll have another show in a little while. Basically, we're all students at the School of Friendship. <laughs> yep, yep. That's yeah. right. Wow, y'all y'all are students of of uh, the princess herself, Twilight Sparkle. Well, she's the well she's the princess now of Equestria. It's Starlight who's the She's the headmistress, the principal. Yeah, um, Starlight's kind of the head mayor of the whole school, while Twice is the new ruler of Equestria. That's what I said. I know. I was just trying to back you up on what you said. <laughs> and if memory right. serves, Sunburst is her, is... Starlight's partner. Vice oh, head mayor, even though he's a stallion. Wow, that's yeah. cool. Vice I head guess stallion. You could call him a vice head stallion. But since since Princess Flurryheart has grown up, his duties as a crystaller have been fulfilled, as far as I know. Even though I'm pretty sure he's very much like a godfather to her. So, what's it like at the school over there? Mm. Um, well, I'm kind of... Well, I'm kind of close friends with one of the professors. <laughs> yeah, I'm, um... Uh... Oh, wait, what? <laughs> oh. I, I asked him. What was it like at the school? Oh, um, well... Hmm. Well, it's actually... It's actually... It's actually really nice there. You get to learn about uh, many different subjects. Like, um... Well... Like, Flush, like what Flush teaches for... Teaches... She teaches, um... How to be kind to others. And, um, she and my teachers about, like, animals. And quite a few other subjects, too, that she knows about. Sounds like it's a fun place. <laughs> yep. And then, um, Applejack tries to. Applejack? She, um, well, what I heard. She tries to help pe help ponies and other creatures be honest. And, um, well, let's just say it's a really good place there. Maybe I should see what that, uh, what the, the school is all about when I get the chance. Yeah, I think it would be a I think it would be a really good fit it, for any pony or creature to try and, um, uh, I, um, to try and, um, get a good look, to get a good education. Hmm. <laughs> uh, a mole rat. Budges was way into your conversation. He says, listen, kid, friendship's on its way out. You need to grow up. You need to learn the new world order. You need to know that money makes the world turn. Uh, 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 yeah. He knows that this is Bolo, the mole rat. Is he naked? Yeah. I'm sorry, Mr. Bolo, but... If you're suggesting something about greed, about money, and how you think it turns the whole world around, then 
I'm sorry, but I want to have to disagree with you. Hmm. Now, don't listen to these uh, these wide-eyed does. They can't even defeat uh, a simple task. They had to just simply escort us down to uh, Kluge Town, and they messed that up. All their friendship, blah, 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 is, is all blah. Radka, yak, not dope. No, it's just looking at him with a glare. Not really liking where this was going. So you Damn. guys are a bunch of disappointments. I don't know why my business partner believes in you. The power Who's of your- friendship is dead. You guys need to move on from it. Learn something new. Who's your business no. partner? And I think you... And I think you should try to learn more about friendship and trust in it more. Not go against it. It's better <laughs> than you think. I don't wow. care what you say. I like having my friends by my side. And whatever you may say or do... I will never go against them. And besides, maybe you should try and learn about friendship as well. And at least get a friend. Hey, as soon as things got in trouble, you guys abandoned us. Don't tell us about friendship. Radka no. doesn't think it's smart to uh, to bad talk your business partner in front of business partner's daughter. Uh, Diamond Terra is just like shakes her head at Volo and Volo just like gives you like this toothy wide grin. And he's like, yeah, yeah. You know why he, uh, filthy rich is sending his daughter away. And <laughs> you want to know why? No, uh, slams his full hooves on the table and looks at him with anger. Listen, pal, you may think that you may know how the world works, but really you don't. So why don't you mind your own business and let Everyone in this group that is trying so hard, mind their own business. Yeah, Radka adds. Uh, sure, roll me a charm as you attempt to persuade him to leave. He just smiles at you mockingly with his little whiskery mouth. And he's just like, <laughs> French. I give him the assist. Oh, let's see here. Get an upgrade on your dice as uh, uh, Radka assists you. Get an upgrade. So upgrade once. Oh, upgrade once? So is it like... Um, I get a actually, I'm going to assist him as well. Sure. So well, you can only get one upgrade. Oh. <laughs> Oof. Nice. Oh. Mm. Get an upgrade. Oh, oh wait. What's... Gotta be it upgrade? Is it like uh, click it again? So what you're going to do is upgrade one. So you know when you were punching up and down? Uh, upgrade one, okay. right, is how you do okay. that. Okay. Right. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, roll d d20. See if you can beat that. Roll again, because you got a... Cause you got, it's currently a tie. Oh, roll again? Yep. Yeah, you got to upgrade to a d20 now since you... Uh, you have to read it. 12, 12, yep. So roll a d12 now, or a d20. Okay. Tell me how you wreck Volo in this conversation. Uh-huh. He seems to have the upper hand, right? Until, like, uh, 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 Radka comes in to your assistance, right? So he seems to, like, be, like, hitting you, and he seems to, like, tower over you. Um, you're just a little uh, pegasus, and he's, like, a big mole rat, bipedal big mole rat. Tell me how, like... You, with your friend, uh, Radka, kind of like team up and just like sit down. (laughs) Awesome. Tell me, you won the battle, uh, the the, uh, battle of wits. Yay. Tell me how you win. Narrate it. As like Volo like towers over you, right? And to be clear, he beated your nine. But had uh, Radka not intervened and assisted you by the power of friendship, uh, he probably would have crushed you. Now you see, so you may have had the best of me, but you know what? Friends help each other. And you know what? I would be proud to call them my friend. 
So, yeah. Ugh. You might have some valid points. We'll see you in the desert when resources get scarce and you need me. We'll see. Don't mess with the yak or else you get the horns. Oh. oh. <laughs> uh, Volo cowers before you as you uh, beat him in this conversation. He huffs and he storms off to his room. Uh, what is Basically. everybody else doing? Snow is well, I'm simply thinking to myself amidst this little debate with my friends and Mr. Volo, and I have Diamond Tiara nearby, and I look at her. Hey, Diamond Tiara made mistakes when she was a kid, but thanks to friendship, even she learned from them and became a better pony. And if her father didn't believe in second chances either, he wouldn't have trusted us to give us this chance to do the right thing after we messed up the first time. What matters is that we pick is that whenever we fall, we pick ourselves up and keep going. I think yeah. Diamond Tiara blushes a little bit at this as you like recount her olden days. She's like, Man, that yeah. book always follows me everywhere. Yeah, and um I agree with Fabio. Sure we may sure we may make mistakes here and there, and sometimes they're big, some are small. Oh, but we we'll always, we we'll always learn. Right? We'll always learn from them, no matter what. Even Princess and Twilight. Even if, it does, even if it does take a while, you know, for the learning process, we'll keep moving on. No pony, no pony is perfect in this world. Not even Princess Twilight, her friends, even the royal sisters. At one point. Yep. So no matter what, we'll always move on forward with friendship in hand and learn and learning in tow. Noah's uh, thinking or assisting him with the jug that was pestering everyone. Anyways, I think. Anyways, anyways, every every pony and creature. I think we made our point. Uh, Volo shrinks away at your announcement. Uh, clearly defeated, uh, he shrinks back to his things. Diamond Terra kind of like shrugs at this, and she kind of like scratches the back of her uh, head as you mention her past. Uh, she blushes slightly, but doesn't seem to uh, mind. <laughs> well, I think we can. Well, I think we can show this merchant a few things. Let's see if we can get a nice dinner organized for him later on. And if you also would like one diamond tiara, I'll be happy to help out with that too. Uh, Diamond Tara nods appreciatively and says, yes, that would be most appreciated. Yes, please. So, um, I'll just make arrangements for a nice dinner for the merchant, whether he wants to join us or whether he wants to buy, whether we can just have it delivered to his place and one for Diamond Tiara at her whenever she wishes. Uh, she would like to join you. Uh, I think you go and like knock on Volo's uh, little cabinet, right? And he just doesn't answer. Well, Mr. Volo, we decide we did, we brought you dinner, a nice selection that I'm sure that you'll enjoy. We're gonna leave it here for you, so you can choose to accept or not. But this is just to let you know that we that we know what we're doing. Uh, you get no reply. Uh, oh boy. I guess this one will take a little... I guess this one might take a little bit extra time. Oh, and by the way, what was the cost for the two dinners? Uh, let's see here. You said it was fancy dinners, right? Roll me a dime. 
deet. Roll me a die ten. Uh, before bits of peace. Right. Fancy dinners. They're not that fancy. No, but they are <laughs> fancy for the train. They uh, got little hats yeah. on them. They got they got little uh, umbrellas and the drinks. <laughs> <laughs> The, That's a the cool equivalent one. of the equivalent of first class fare, as far as the train service goes. Uh, I wouldn't consider it first class. <laughs> it's it's a class. It's definitely not first class. Ah, uh, well, that was my intent was to do was to have a first class dinner uh, arranged. So full for. course dinners aren't their thing or their specialities, right? They're more of the trolley, pick it up from the cart, right? Mm. No, whatever they have that's the fancy stuff that the kind that Diamond Tiara she may have she is a good pony but she still comes from a wealthy background and I would like would like to give a little bit of that generosity to her. Uh, Diamond Tiara warms up to you, uh, warms up to your group, and she says, "Yes, uh, my uh, I'm very pleased with this meal." And I'll share some of our, uh, some of the tells I've told you on this. I've, uh, this is not my first trip to Cluj Town. I have some, uh, people, connections that I have to, uh, connect with. Uh, they will guide us on the next trail to our journey. <clears throat> the two are Hodkim and Fizza. Those are the connections that I am need to connect to. Hazam and Fizam. Fizam. How will, how will we recognize them? Uh, they're horses. They're from um, Saudi Arabia. Mm. Yeah, because uh, when I heard, heard the name, I thought, um, isn't that the name of... What, wasn't that the name of the of the of the of a delegate from Saddle Arabia? Yes, actually, you do know them. Oh, Saddle Arabia, huh? Indeed, sounds exotic. Uh, my objective and goal is to meet up with them, and we will travel to Diamond. What's it? Uh, Abyssinia and Diamond Tira, under the pretense of a diplomatic delegation. <clears throat> You'll be traveling with royalty. <laughs> that is part of what your father asked us to do besides escort you to Kluge Town, is it correct? Uh, she says that I have a, a mission. I have a request. You know that Spike made peace between the dog folk or the diamond dogs and the cat folk, right? Yeah. Right. Unfortunately, yeah. their relationship has been strained, and I am being sent there in order to calm down the tensions. They have been flaring up, but we don't know why. Mind if I ask, do you, do you have any guesses or thoughts on why they're hating each other now? I don't know. Uh, Spike said that he left them on peaceful terms. They were at war, but now it's over. However, tensions are being escalated once again, and I don't know why. Hmm. I can only vouch for her guests, but something to maybe do with the pirates that have currently been raiding. Pirate raving? A raiding. Oh. Pirate rave? That's a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> Pirate rave. Oh. That's what it is. It's, 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 it's a diplomatic breakdown at the pirate rave. <laughs> Totally gonna happen now. Oh, <laughs> pirates raiding, huh? Oh. Uh. <laughs> um. Would one of these pirates happen to be like a. Like a. Would one of these pirates be a. Um. A griffin? Rumor has it there there is a pony in black armor. 
<laughs> Wait, pony in black armor? A Pegasus. Oh. Black armor. It's a so, they're not the same, so they are not the same pirates as Captain Celiano and her crew of harpies. Nope. Different type of pirates altogether. But they do fly on a uh, skiff. They strike quickly and raid caravans and people who are on the sands. You have to be careful crossing. These ships, these airships are fast and it can sneak up on you very quickly. But wouldn't uh, us Pegasi be able to outmaneuver them? Uh, that is true. In short distances, yes, you should be able to catch up to them. However, in long travels, you will fall exhausted, exhausted before uh, you're overtaken. But what about the sandworms? Oh, she laughs at this and she says, oh, the Tesla worms, they shouldn't bother us too much. No kind of sibos on the mention of sand. Well, and there's lots of sand out there. Lots of creatures, too. You need to be worried about all the monsters out there. She tries to recap. Uh, she tells you about fantasies like Loch Ness monsters. <laughs> No, she, she's like, she tells you completely wrong information. So far-fetched that even you find it difficult to believe. But she believes them. Well, I'm not, go I'm not going to make any corrections to her for the time being. She'll find out in her own way. No um, kind of stakes his head and continues on questioning on the many things about Saddle Arabia and the pirates. Uh, she says that no we are meeting up with the delegates to Saddle Arabia with them we will go towards the two kingdoms uh, Abyssinia and Diamond Dia Diamond Dia Diamond Dia uh, I, like the I didn't that. make this up this is what it's called Abyssinia and Diamond Dia I mean I like the, the ring to it <clears throat> Daimonia? Daimonia. Daimonia is the city of the uh, Diamond Dogs. Really? <clears throat> wow. Let me guess. Huh. Dog Town? Uh, diamond Dogs. Um, and then the Cat Folk uh, are in Abyssinia. 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 Pace. By the way, this is all canon in the comics. Right. Well, <laughs> nice. Well, oh, I'm drooling. Well, yeah. well, well, Fabio's, well, Fabio's thinking that he's never, aside from Capper, Dapper Paws, he's not heard much about the cat folk. And as for the diamond dogs, he never really perceived them as truly evil creatures. They were greedy and they were thieves but if anything they weren't exactly the brightest either and they could be they could be courteous if handled the right way the way how rarity did it uh diamond tiara smiles at you and says yes there is a small colony near ponyville um i don't know if you guys met them but there is uh yeah. I don't think we actually did meet them. No. Oh. As far as I know, they still love they still love gems. They can be almost like kleptomaniacal about gems, but they're but they're still not all that bad. They're they're not bad. Out of character. Now, is that all diamond dogs, or is it just those three that we've met at? Um, in near Ponyville that are like that. Uh, she says that it varies. It depends on the king and queen. I don't know what's going on currently. They are far away. Okay. <clears throat> she says we are going to be escorting the Sal Arabian diplomats in, and hopefully they will be able to find out more information. <clears throat> okay. 
Um, but your generalizations seem accurate from what I can tell. About how long is this deleg about how long is this meeting delegation expected to last? Uh, all you have to do is to present me to Kluchtown and you may go your separate ways. As a matter of fact, um, why are you going? Why are you taking me now? Well, for one thing, a deal's a deal, as we explained to your father. We're, we're making things right after flubbing it the first time. That's part of the reason. It's so weird. My kidnappers were always saying stuff about diamonds and gems and jewels and kept carrying on about some stupid black coin. Uh, oh, yeah, we have that. Do you show her the black coin? I don't have it personally, so I can't show her. And I ain't touching that, but that's... <laughs> Uh, I, we'd, we'd, yeah, we'd, I, we'd, yeah, I, I don't have it either, and I'd rather not touch it myself. So, so. <laughs> no thanks. We found we, this, you don't want to touch it. It's something, it's something yeah. that it's something that none of us want to touch or even think about until the right time, and now is not the right time. Uh, the door, which was close to you. Uh, slowly slides open and says, and Volo's like, you have it? You have the nope. black coin? Nope, lying <laughs> told you don't have black coin. Not, you must have been hearing things. Nope, no black coin here. Uh, roll me a charm as you're attempting to persuade. I'm like, no, nope, no, nope, there's nothing here. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Uh, okay. Well, that's crafting. <laughs> uh, uh, that I accidentally hit that as well. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, is anybody assisting you? Uh, Trying to tell a fib? Uh, Snow assists, saying, Black coin? I never heard of that, but I doubt something like that could even be real. Sure. Go ahead and upgrade oh. your dice, Rabka, as. Oh you my gosh. Like... Seriously. <clears throat> Uh, so, uh, the I'm, I'm in mole rat who kind of like, kind of like sneers at you, like his normal goofy smiling face, uh, falls back into his cabinet and shuts it after, after he grabs the sandwich and the, uh, tray with the little umbrella in it. Okay. I was ready to, I was ready to use that as a distraction Hoping to take his mind off it. It's like, oh, by the oh, you're out. Oh, you're out, Volo. Here, I got this for you. But since he took it, he snatches it. Like, yeah, snatches it and drinks it into his thing. Yeah, uh, I simply, sh I shrug. I just simply shrug my shoulders and just, and just smile through it. He seems like a bundle of joy. He's been weird ever since uh, the kidnapping. Rabka thinks he's a big jerk. So, how is he usually before the uh, kidnapping? Well, he tried to sell Princess Twilight and her friends into slavery. <laughs> oh. 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 Well. And I regret asking. <laughs> Radka is not comfortable with keeping. Um, uh, company with slavers. Mm. Well, if I remember, wasn't that and wasn't that back when they had back when te when the Storm King took over? Or because I remember Twilight and her friend and had to go to Cluj Town, and that's um, where they uh, met Capper, and that's where they met Capper Dapper Paws, who initially tried to do the same thing to them. But thanks to Rarity's generosity and kindness, he paused and had second thoughts and decided to help them out. I'm glad that Capper's not here. And if I remember correctly, he's actually part of the noble family of the cat folk. 
Yeah, uh, that is correct. No, he's a former. Only... Yeah, he was a for, he was at the time he was a former aristocrat from Abyssinia. Don't you mean aristocrat? Yes, and I simply laugh at that. Uh, Diamond Terra shifts uncomfortably as this mentioned. Well, uh, bad puns got you wrong. Don't you don't like bad puns? <laughs> Uh, she's just uncomfortable. Not because of the bad puns, because she feels uncomfortable <laughs> about the current conversation. Well, uh, I'll well, I'll change it for her sake. Well, suffice to say, we've got our own things to take care of once we make sure that our job to you is done. But we certainly wish you all the best with your own mission. I need everybody to roll me a charm. I need whoever gets the highest. Is everybody going to bed? That's a good question. The train continues to chug along. You're just getting towards the late night. <clears throat> no actually has a question for the game. Why didn't y'all? Why didn't y'all want to sell anyone this black coin? What's so bad about it? Well, I'm gonna wait until we're until we can talk things over in private, away from others who don't need to be involved. You're literally on a train. <laughs> we, need to, we need we need to have some private. I would wait until we can find a place to be alone. Oh. Um. Alchemy. I think I can make a cone of silence. Let me check in my alchemy. Cone of silence. Is it like the cone of shame? <laughs> she put it over your head. It's like a bucket over your head. Yeah, that's cone of shame. <laughs> the cone of shame. Cone of shame. Um. Well, it was always funny how Twilight did it in the library, so she could talk to Moon Dancer. Unfortunately, wasn't having any of it. <laughs> a, sil a bubble of silence. Yes. Does anybody have any of those spells that they can use? I myself do not. You're just a dancer, Ooh. man. You're just a dancer. I can unicorn. make an X-ray po potion. I did not know that. I'm a dancer, not I'm a dancer, not a magician. <laughs> and a good one at that. Cure illness, fire breath, gloop, grow, hunger potion. So Fabia and Radka, I need a roll off between you two. All right. Comment. Radka. This is the charm. Let's see who it talks to. Oh. Which makes sense. Which makes sense. <laughs> Does everybody go to bed? Yeah. I will Might go to bed. Well. Uh, at night, yes. Fabio, you hear a knock on your door. I groan a little and I'll whisper to the door, Who is it? It says, It's, it's Diamond Tierra. Okay, I slowly open the door quietly. She says, can, can I come in? Mm. I nod. Uh, so she steps inside, right? And in the darkness, she starts talking to you. She says, hey, Fabio, I'm a little bit suspicious of, uh, of Volo. What, what, what do you fear? What's, what do, what do you suspect about him? I think he was on the inside band during the kidnapping. He's certainly been acting strange enough and the way he was looking when we mentioned the black coin. Celestia forbid he could be an agent of greed. If that is assuming that's true, what do you suggest? What do you think we should do about him? I, 
I, I don't know. He's my father's business partner. I think it, I think when that, and regardless, we got to, I think we need to find out if he is or not. She says, we'll, we'll know for sure if uh, pirates come at us. I don't know how he does it, but I think he has some sort of communication. I'll see what my friends and I can figure out. She says, you better think quick, because we're going to be coming up to our stop here in the morning. Um, so... So, so um, right out, um, I'll go wake my, I'll go wake my friends. She says, I'm going to go back to my cabin. You guys figure out what you're going to do. Okay. All right. Thank you for letting us know. Thank you for letting me know. She nods and she says, yes, friendship will beat this. And she so, Right outside, so if I may say, um, right outside the door, um, 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 hey, Fabio. And I'm keep, and I'm, and I'm just telling, and I'm just, I raise one hoof and make the shh for him to keep his voice down. Not so loud. Oh, sorry. We got a, I think we have, I think we have an, I think we have a new problem. Really? Uh, I Let's actually go. kind of, I am um, kind of overheard what you said. I think we need to let the others know. What's yeah. going on? So I'm going to keep quiet as possible to go wake the others. Sure. Mm -hmm. Roll me a body as you're attempting to sneak around in the dark. <clears throat> the lights are low in this place. Let's try not to stub our toes, right? Oof. Mm. Is that your body? I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to spend two friendship tokens. Actually, I'm not sure if that works because it my body's work. already at 20. Sorry, so if I spend one, I can re-roll it. So I'm just going to spend the one to do a re-roll. Yeah. Give me a second. Reroll. Okay. Nice. You sneak around stealthy, nobody notices you. Right. I'll just go to the first door of whichever my friend's cabins is available. Excellent. Yeah, roll me a one, two, three, four. Roll me a D4. Right to left. Number three, Lucky Sparks. Uh-huh. Hear a gentle rapping on your door. Or um, actually, um, um, actually, I'm, uh, actually, I'm, I was kind of with Fabio because I overheard what he said. Okay. Yeah. So you weren't sleeping. To be clear, you were not asleep. Not really, cause um, not really, cause <laughs> I kind of had suspicions of you know who myself. So okay. So what? Okay, I guess continue seeing. <clears throat> no. I'll just head over to the next the next cabin where one of my friends is. Uh, I assume you gather your companions, and with that eighteen, it critically succeeded. You wake nobody during your passing. All right, I'm up. I just I'll give them the shh. Keep our keep your voices down, and we need to find a place where we can talk in private. Uh, currently, nobody's up. All right. What do you guys do as you gather in one place or another? Okay, so um if so 
every creature. Um, me and Fabio kind of have um, a certain suspicion about a a certain um, you know who. We think, we think, we think he could be an agent of greed. Knows a little half of sleep, but is trying to follow the best he can. An agent of greed? Really? Yes. You, know, uh, you, know, you, noticed, you noticed how he looked when we mentioned the black coin. Yeah, that is true. Not to mention, he was so much fun. Yeah, and also, with how he was talking about <clears throat> how money makes the world go around, and how friendship is, um, well, you know. Yeah, that one did irk me a bit. Okay, so we know the guy is... Not really much to be trustworthy. What else do we have that can pinpoint that he's a agent, as you put it? Well, first, well, first of all, we need to find out if he is an agent or not. I took and make truth potion. Huh. A truth potion. Huh. It makes people tell the truth. I mean, it makes ponies tell the truth. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Will, it pony? Will, it work on, will it work on his kind? Yes. You're, you're absolutely sure it will work on his kind? Yeah, because it's right. a potion in the game, so it will work on anyone. All right. The next question is, how do we give it to him? Yeah, that, that's what I was going to say. Doing how that guy is, no way he's going to accept things willingly. He took sandwich. True, but that was big. Wait. Varka, you're genius. I think I have a perfect way to get the truth potion in here. Yes. We all, we all know that if we offer anything to him, out of the blue, he'll be suspicious. So why not we do what Fabio did already? Just leave it for him to drink whenever we mention that black coin again. We all know how he acted. So what better way to use this, use that potion, than to not only get something to drive his attention, but he would take it without even thinking. All I know is that Diamond TR says we need to do this quickly because when in the morning that's when things we won't have, we, we have until morning to figure this out. Rule me a die for. Oh. Oof. We've got one hour to figure out something. Starting now. I'm setting the timer. Oh, boy. Oh, real time. A real time. Mm. Well, I just need... Uh, Rekka just needs precious gems and birthday, birthday cake to make a truth potion. Uh, Does Vodka uh, have that stuff of, available? Vodka have vanilla cake. Vanilla cake can be birthday cake. Hmm. Wait, 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 uh, Vodka, did you say you needed gems? Precious gems, yes. Uh, wait, I have gems, wait, I have gems. I remember getting some gems from, uh, from, um, Fun Flam's, Fun Flam's old, um, old shop. Q. 
she? Uh, Rad could take. Is Radka going to make some potion? Radka going to make the potion. Go ahead and roll me an alchemy check as you attempt to. <laughs> Wait, Radka, how many gems do you need? Mm, potion, not. Just one pony? Uh, just one mold? One gem. Okay. So I give Radka uh, one gem from my um, inventory. I believe you have an inventory of, uh, uh, what's it, 400? 400. Yeah. So roll me um, a D, what would it be? Probably a D200. Let's see which one it is. D, D200. Okay. Gosh. Oh. Okay, so here we go. Okay. Uh, the value of your little gem stash decreases by 48. All right. Okay. Roll an alchemy. Okay. That is the DC that must be overcome. Excellent. Um, what do you guys do? Uh, Varika now has her potion prepared. Do you have truth potion? Dun da 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 da. Right, DC six. No, ask uh, Fabio. Any bright ideas to get this potion to our target? Yeah. Well, I can. Um, no, wait. I can always. I can. I can always try putting on a show, and he could be given. He could be given the cake, as part. So the cake was used up in the potion, and so was forty-eight uh, pieces of uh, uh, bits worth of the stash that uh, Lucky's got. The classic. The, the so classic. Now it's like a liquid vial. Right. Okay. So, 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 so Radka, tell us what this potion does. You, 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 what does it do? Truth potion causes the drinker can only speak the truth. Uh, set mm. limits to it. How long? Da, 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 da. Is it forever? Is it a curse? I'm looking. I'm looking. Da, da, da. Any potion? Any pony with this talent is a powerful alchemist. Can only have one at a time. Uh, this is usually okay. Potions may be used by any pony unless stated otherwise for the remainder of a scene. This is usually a few minutes, though ultimately it is up to you as the GM if you want it to last longer. So DC is six and lasts a scene. Okay. Cool. So are the regulations and rules on it. Well, I guess me taking those gems actually came in handy. Thank you. <laughs> yep, yep. Oh, one for silver. We're gonna have to make our and if and if and if it does work and and if he is susceptible, we need to figure out what questions to ask him. We're gonna have to keep them simple. Oh, easy. One, obviously, is our. Is is he an agent of greed? Oh, oh! How is he communicating with the pirates? Or is he with the pirates? First of all, hmm. I think the yeah. sounds like this is a plan. Shall we enact? Sounds good. How are you doing this? Yeah. Um. You realize that 40, uh, 40 minutes have passed by. Uh, um, it's getting close to that time. Um, 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 um. And how are we going to give it to him? 
we were going to talk about the black coin and then he was going to open the door again and then snatch the drink if we sat it next to the door we need to put it in something that he'll want to take willingly like a cup of tea or another drink and we need to make yeah. sure that he can detect it hmm I'm so that the mo that uh that dude wouldn't be uh suspicious about the truth serum, the truth potion. You got about fifteen minutes left. Mm. Think over the intercom I you hear a system. All right, stop to Cluge Town <laughs> in fifteen minutes. I could order I could order him breakfast and have a drink with it. Okay. And have that and and give that to him for his morning breakfast. Good. If we have, have fifteen out. minutes, they're not going to serve breakfast. No, let's make it the quick the quick continental breakfast, whatever. Does anyone have any drink on them that we can just throw out and put the pony put it into? Uh no, all I got is the leftover. Uh, Strangely, I, I don't know if this. I don't know if it still is hot, but I've had it on me this whole time. The cup of hot chocolate. Cool. Dump out the. Uh, let's put it in the hot chocolate. The question Anyone is: Anyone have fire is, magic? The question is: Is it is it still consumable oh yes very much so it's hot chocolate hot chocolate all right 10 well, minutes 10 minutes put it in well, the i'll whip out my cup of hot chocolate and have that Excellent. okay i also uh, got some dry Do you pour <laughs> your potion into the hot chocolate yes excellent and i also got, and i also got some dried fruit that i'll also add to it, so that can be his breakfast. What do you do? Well, we're gonna... You got about five no. minutes coming up real soon. <laughs> we, just wake, can we just wake him up and tell him we brought him breakfast? Yeah. Are we set All the right. scene now? You got five minutes to do this. Alright. We'll stop Have the we timer got... here. No, I'll Seven, knock on you. Five minutes. We'll knock. We'll knock on his door. Mr. Vol, what was his name again? Volo. Yep. Volo. 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 Yeah. Mr. Volo, rise and shine. It's morning. We brought you breakfast. Uh, roll me a charm to see if he wakes up to you. He responds. It's about time. I ordered my breakfast five minutes ago. Uh, you hear this clump, clump, and like someone rolling out of bed and putting on his slippers and he's like opens the door and he says, Oh, it's you. What do you want? I brought you breakfast. I give I give one of my most winning smiles and present him the plate with the fruit and the hot chocolate. This is about time. And he get, grabs it and snatches it up and goop goop. Uh the stuff barely touches his tongue. He's like, Oh, I'll be out in a little bit. Make sure that you're ready with my wagon and everything else. Okay. He quaffs the potion unexpectedly. He returns okay. to get dressed. Damn, a quick question. A quick question that would that would seem weird to make him seem that he's telling the truth. A quick uh, question. Sure. Yeah. I mean, uh, do you like put yeah. your hoof in the door? Oh. Uh, I was trying to get him to answer a question where he would speak the truth. Uh, currently, he's oh. in his PJs, about ready to shut the door in your face. Oh, well, well that was rather... Well that, well, that was rather sudden. Surely the breakfast wasn't that bad, was it? Uh, he literally just... Just quaffs it. It's like, we got five minutes, we have to hurry. I have to get dressed still. 
Radka puts her head into the door and awkwardly gets her head stuck with her horns. It says, I'm changing here. What do you want? Uh, uh, my head's stuck. Help. I'll remove it so I can get dressed. I can't. I'm kind of attached to my head. Okay, guys, the door's open. Trying to get him to answer, answer a question that... Ask a question. Then ask him a question. <laughs> I can't think of any out of character, so someone, some pony else, if you can think of one, help me out. Help us out here. Let's work together on this. Are you a mole so, rat? What type of stupid question is that? Of course I am. Hey, uh, sorry Boom. to interrupt what y'all are doing, but I want to ask you do you really think that money is important above all else? Of course. Even your family? Yes, most definitely. Do you hate Filthy Rich? Of course, he's a piece of crap. Hello. He like grass. He's like. Hello. What do you, what do you think of the black coin? It's a pretty price to sell, of course. Are you do working you for greed? So? No. And why do you want the black coin? So I can sell it, of course. Don't you know the price of that thing? Hey, what do you know about pirates? Oh, yeah, I know a lot about them. Like... Are, you are, you, are, you are you communicating with them in any way? Of course. He presents a unicorn horn. A broken unicorn horn. Oh, goody. So, tell me. Were you trying to take Filthy Witch's daughter as a Lay as well? No. I knew that was a deceit's plan. I'm working with despair. Oh, great. What, did, what did despair offer you in exchange for the in exchange for your help? Money. Of course. No saw. Alright. Last question. Why do you, why is it that you're so insistent that money runs everything? Hey guys. Because it does. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> no worries. Let's see here. My Wi-Fi is being a pain in the butt. <laughs> oh, welcome back. You're currently in the interrogation of uh, Volo. Uh, Volo activates his magical unicorn horn. Quick, uh, grab the horn. Uh, I mean, it blows softly. I'm using my telekinesis to pull it out of his hand. Sure. Uh, go ahead and roll me a telekinesis. Uh, let's see here. It would be a body check, correct? Uh, you snatch it. The broken unicorn horn uh, flies towards your direction. It says, what are you doing? I'm trying to show you something. Yeah. Yeah. Calling your calling your friends, aren't you? Yes. Well, we better destroy that. No, don't destroy it. What happens if we destroy it? It's a unicorn horn. Don't destroy it. We can give it to back to the unicorn you took it from. Who did you t get the unicorn horn from? I bought it. I don't know who. Then it might as well be. A pain for everyone. Best to just destroy it. He says, no, it's very valuable. Oh, for the love of... He, uh, snatches... Snow snatches from the horn from Fabio's telekinesis and proceeds to just smash the horn to bits. Um, so... Uh, oh, there. To be clear, Fabio currently possesses the unicorn horn. Are you snatching away from your uh, comrade? Yes. Uh, wait, what? No. No. So this is where we talk it out. <laughs> Guys, this horn is dangerous for everyone here. As long as this thing is active, who knows who will be listening? 
no, uh, no, it helps. It helps. Tell me. I'm not right telling you. It helps. What does it help? It helps me to communicate with the uh, pirate captain. Who's oh. the pirate captain? Oh, just nobody important. Just his name is Storm. Oh, fuck. Stupid Storm. Storm? Is he a Pegasus? <laughs> yes, he's a Pegasus in black armor. Oh my gosh, not <laughs> this again. <laughs> oh. I you wondered where he wandered off. <laughs> oh my god, why can't we bring back, you know, other people well, like, you know, hippogriffs, but no, we gotta bring Storm back. Well, you can tell well, you can tell your friend Storm that this is a false that this was a false alarm. Oh, don't worry. It's already on. You're telling him right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Eep. Uh, and he's uh, the horse apples. Pony oh, feathers. Shall I just destroy this one already? Yeah, go ahead. Well, yeah, don't, do it. don't do it. It's very valuable. Well, we have nothing to gain by this. We, we have. It won't matter whether we destroy it or not. He knows. He knows. He's heard everything and he's coming either way. Wait, wait, wait. Listen to me. Listen to me. All right. I can't lie to you for some reason. <laughs> hey. You can also send other messages with this with this unicorn horn. It doesn't necessarily have to be a storm. You can send it messages to other people. So, that's, that's his magical abilities, okay? Urge to stomp rising. So wait, you're saying that we can use this horn to con Yeah, like you can one. contact despair. Oh, yeah. Because we want to contact despair. Can we contact Discord? I guess so, assuming that he's on this plane of existence. Remember, we're not... Remember, we can't... Rel we we need to solve these problems ourselves. The last oh. time we asked Discord for help, things went wrong. So, to be clear, uh, the unicorn horn is already on. And it's like a phone. That's already open and open mic'd, right? So you guys are currently talking about destroying it right now. Well, I mean... I'm I like to find. Uh, how do you turn it off? Oh, you just have to. You just have to touch it. You just have to command it to to turn off. <laughs> turn oh, off. There's, a, there's case, a DC yeah. to send a message. I shut it off. Uh, so roll me a mind. You see if you can overcome the DC. Oh, nice. Yeah, easily, easily shut it off. Oh. It's like damn. <laughs> Language. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, well, he's a nasty little bugger. He can talk like that if he wants. He says, I don't know why I can't lie to you. This is really weird. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to... Well, I'm going to go... So, someone go get Diamond Tiara. I will. Uh, all right. And can all I to stomp him now? Huh? Radka wanted to stomp. Radka wanted to stomp. Hold on. Let's put it on a vote. Who wants to keep the horn? Raise your hooves. Or, yeah, just hooves. Um. So Volo raises his hand up. <laughs> you don't count. Ah, you. Oh, why not? I'm part of this. Radka well, puts I, his hand I'm down. In I'm, in favor of, I'm in favor of keeping it in one piece for the moment. We can always destroy it later if necessary. No, Radko wants to stop the. Um, wants to stop Polo. Wait, no. I vote that's not to stop Polo. That's, that's why I said. That's why I'm having Diamond Tiara come. Let her decide. Let her cast her vote in what we should do with him. Uh, now that we now that we know who he's with, or who he okay. claim or who he says to be with, she needs to be told as well. So I assume Lucky uh, Sparks is leaving the scene. Yep, I want to make one. Yep, I want to get Diamond Tiara. Okay, excellent. Uh, in the distance, you guys hear that toot toot. All aboard! Uh, uh, you hear the rolling, slowing of the train as it puts on its brakes. 
Okay, Fabio, I'm gonna agree with you just once. We'll keep the horn, but given the opportunity, I will not hesitate to smash this to bed. Oh, believe, believe me, I. I mean, you can we don't contact know what... anybody with it. It's it's a horn that sends messages. It's, that's its property. It's it's magical. We can always destroy it later if necessary. The DC to activate is only a four in mind. Oh, that's easy. Uh, I know, right? And me? That's why I got it. Oh my god! <laughs> well, the next thing. Well, let's let's get him and Diamond Tiara off the train now that we're at Kluge Town. <laughs> Uh, you are not at Clouge Town. Oh, we're not. I thought uh, you are at the train stop before Clouge Town. Okay. So I pretty much. So I pretty much get down to Tiara, and um, exit off the train. Uh, Volo still no. in his whitey tidies. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Tries still to gather all of his crap. <laughs> I'm still stuck in the door, so he can't get out of the door. Uh, he's hurrying and grabbing all of his stuff. Okay. But well, I'm this gonna... is our stop. We have to get off now. Guys, Snow I'm stuck. Is... Snow is going to help Radka off to get off of the uh, door. Uh... I'm just, I'm just going to keep a t I'm keeping a tight magical hold on the horn to make sure that Volo can't snatch it off. In the meantime, let's get his belongings and cart off the train. Uh, right. So. Uh, everybody begins hurrying off, right? It's a pretty right. desolate area. This is actual uh -huh. desert. To the north, you can see the forest and its fading grasslands. Uh, to the south, you see dunes and a bleak desert scape. Worm sign. <clears throat> this is where you are at the train last uh, stop uh, of where the train goes. The train goes in reverse flips over and begins reversing back up the track. Go ahead and place hmm. yourselves here. I assume everybody's leaving the train? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Diamond Tierra is still hurrying and has all of her packages. Uh, everybody gathers right, up their right. equipment. She's like, well, Diamond, Ti well, well, Diamond Tiara, uh, talk to he's, he's not allied with greed, but he is allied with despair is what he said. Mm -mm. Or so, was it deceit? I cannot remember which. Despair. I am going to despair. Currently, uh, He's sorry. allied with despair. He was promised money, and, he, and as for the as for other things, he's just looking. He's just looking to make more money. We're thinking of having him continue on, but then we need to find some way to. Make sure he can't give us any more trouble in the future with you or us. Uh... Oh, oh, oh. So we're, uh, so we're gonna... Can we wrap him up with the strange sticky whip? What does it do? Uh, Scratchly life cannot be destroyed by ordinary beings. My back. There we go. Should be back. There we go. Can you hear me? Hello. There we go. Uh, so, what is the plan? Well, we still need. To, we're gonna make sure. We're gonna carry on as filthy rich asked us to, because this guy is still his partner. He still has his shipment to deliver to Kluge Town and Diane Tiara to take there as well, where she will be taken with the Saddle Arabian delegates to do her mission. We just need to figure out what to do with Volo once his job is done. Make sure that he doesn't give us any trouble in the future or Diamond Tiara. Uh, so in this scene... Not said, to mention that, not to mention Storm is probably on his way. Uh, I still think we should either wrap him up with the strange sticky whip or drop him off in the strange bag that smells like a wet dog. <laughs> we don't know what that, the whip possibly, we don't know what that's... 
how that strange bag will do anything. Oh, it will. He goes to a puppy island. So Diamond Terra is like, wait, 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 what is happening? What is double going check. on? Is this working? No, I'm not working. I'm having internet connections, guys. Give me a second. Okay, everything's refreshed. Hmm? Well, if anything, it, if anything, it can serve as a. Will it? Will it serve as a temporary jail? Yeah, it's like a bag of holdings, but for puppies. But takes. But it connects to a puppy paradise. Uh, that's, we, that, that is not a bad idea. We could at least keep him confined until we figure out what to do with him permanently. But this is after he completes his shipment in Clutch Town. The, next, the other problem is how to deal with Storm if he, if he indeed does arrive. No, is looking at them a little confused. Who the heck is Storm? The, uh, <laughs> someone you dealt with? He's the pirate that Mr. Volo called. I don't uh, know what you're talking about. Potions worn off. I don't Do you want some more about. of that potion? You can shut up. What? I can give you some more of that truth what? potion unless you want to shut up. You, you, you tried to poison me? No. no. You basically told the truth, dude. We know everything. Uh, Volo's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Diamond Terra <laughs> oh, no. walks into the scene and she's like, what is going on? Oh, hey, Diamond Joe. Your friend here has been a bit of a... Uh, how do I... Been a bit of pain uh, in the blank. And he, and he, a bit of a horse's and, butt. And he, and, he, and, he thinks your, and he thinks your father is lower than manure. He says, no, that's not true. That, Fabio, um, would you do the honors to present some evidence of the... Pirates that he sold us out to. With that, I I'm still. I, I I again keep a magical grip on the horn, and show it to Diamond Tiara. He's been using this to contact pirates. Uh, she looks at him. She's like, "What is that?" And Volo's like, "I don't know. Uh, they found it on the train. Uh, it's a unicorn. It's a unicorn horn." <laughs> Uh, she yeah. looks at uh, Volo and says, that is disgusting. He's like, I, I don't know what, what they're talking about. Yeah. Uh, he tries um, to convince okay. Diamond Terra. He's like, listen to me. We've been, me and your father have been in a working relationship for a very long time. And I understand that this has been a stressful time for them. They've been through a lot of stuff. And they're just, they're just oh, tired. Oh. And they don't know what's going oh. on. And he tries to oh. convince Diamond Terra. Um, oh my... Diamond Tierra? Well, we're going to argue back, saying that he insulted Ooh, good. He, he, call, he called your he called your dad a piece of manure, and he hates him and thinks that he's weak. Slanderous lies. And Diamond Tierra like tries to like tries to convince herself. She's like, I don't, I don't know. He seems awfully convincing, guys. Are you sure? Are you sure that's no. what you found? No. No vices up to the sky. Trying to calm down this argument, knowing that it won't go anywhere, and looks Diamond in the eye with all honesty. Diamond, yeah. I trust you, and I know that you can trust all of us. And believe me when I say, this mole right here has been a double crossing, <clears throat> a double crossing, no good jerk that would use anything just to get ahead of life even using your father just to get some more money uh so as you're like trying to convince her this volo slides his hand back on her back and says see how how delusional they are it's early in the morning they might have been having bad dreams and decided to accuse me of such slanderous things 
And Diamond Terra's like, looks at him and she's like, I need you guys to convince Diamond Terra. You gotta beat that 12. <laughs> listen, to, listen to your heart, Diamond Tiara. Who's rolling to convince Diamond Tiara? And is anybody helping? Um, can I also play the strange chimes with unique sound? Oh, you know, this is a chime. Is this is a charm, right? This is a charm. Yes. Okay, so never mind on that. I will. I can assist. Who's rolling? You have to beat my twelve. What, what, what tries is to slide in the diamond it's, it's a mind. It's a mind check, right? Or is it charm? It is a charm. charm. You're trying oh, mine... to overcome Volo's charm. He's got a grip on poor Diamond Tierra. He rolled I a charm is, I charm with the D ten. Who's high is there anyone higher than me on a D ten? I have a D ten. I have a D ten. Does anyone have a D twelve or higher? Yes or no? Oh. And I don't suppose it matters who who makes I'm the roll. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll. And you're assisting me? Get yes. An upgrade. Okay. Yeah, Diamond Tierra. They're just they're just a no. little tired, a little confused. You can <clears throat> trust me. You can trust me. I'm going I to don't know even where they found that horn. They probably found it lost somewhere. I'm going to spend three tokens of friendship to auto succeed. Tell me how this works. Tell me how this works. Uh Three? Yeah. yeah. You rolled. Oh, right. Uh, how does that work? You auto succeed, so you get to. So we treat as a crit. That means you get to narrate how you can how you convince Diamond Tiara. So like he's convinced Diamond Tiara, right? She's like, maybe, maybe he's right, and she's like starting to doubt your words, right? Because he literally critted on her, and then you. Come in with the power of friendship. Tell me how you convince Diamond Tierra. Uh, that this guy's oh. a lying piece of crap who's using her. I I went I bowed down before her with tears on my eyes, pleading to her that please believe us, Diamond. With all my heart, I am telling with every single fiber of my being the truth. Please believe us. I don't want you or anyone else to get hurt. Uh, she pushes Volo off of her and says, Don't touch me, uh, you slime. Uh, so you don't have to roll. You auto-succeed. Uh, yeah, that's the power of friendship uh, taking over. And she says, I believe in my friends. And like Volo like scowls at this and he's like, No. No. Let's tie up. Just tie him up and gag him so that he can't do, he can't say any more words to tempt anyone. We're gonna but make sure he can, but make sure that he can. We'll just place him in the cart. And the next thing is, some of us have to pull it ourselves, don't we? Um, yeah. I don't mind pulling it. Because the best at pulling carts. So, are you binding Volo? Yes, we're tying him up and we're gagging him so that he can't whisper any more poison words into any any pony's ears. And gagging him, okay. <laughs> and where are you okay. putting him? We're just putting wagon. we're just putting him in the front seat. Okay. We're not gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna be cruel to him, but we're just, just gonna make sure that we can keep our eyes on him. Uh, before you is a vast desert. Uh, Diamond Terror is like, I'm sorry that I doubted you guys. It's just that I've worked with him and my father for many years. It's kind of hard to put my faith on people who abandoned me, you know? We understand, well, Diamond. We, we'll make, yeah, we, we understand. Make, but we won't make that same mistake again. And that's yeah. why we're here. And that's, and that's why we're here now. To make sure that that doesn't <laughs> happen again. She like yeah, turns and to you, Fabio, and says, you made a promise, and you broke it. We're going to fix it. In what way? We're going to fix that promise here and now by making sure that you get to where you need to go. Yep. She 
She says, I believe you. I trust you. And we're going to, and, and, and Celestia, help me. We're going to we'll, we'll see you safely to Kluge Town. As for this little rat, we'll figure out what to do with him once he's done with his shipment, as your father wanted him to do. No, uh, Snow walks up to her and say, Thank you for believing in me, Diamond. Even though you didn't have to. It means a lot. It's hard to have trust in somebody and somebody break it. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it can be hard to trust again on... It's hard to, it is hard to trust again. Especially for those that have already broken that trust once. But it's not it's not impossible to always trust for a second time. Because there's always a different path of trust that you can take. We're learning we we made a mistake and we're learning from it. Mm-hmm. Now smiles and nods your head. Now, about this mole, can I please be the first one to give him a hoof sandwich? Well, he's currently bound and um, gagged and helpless. Um. No, let's uh, not. Let's not. We're not here to harm him. Yeah. And I, don't, not, and, I don't, and I don't. And I don't think he can do much to trouble us while he's tied up and gagged. Yeah. So um, let's just leave it the way it is. Uh, fine. But you can't deny that like, giving him a, a hoof sandwich is so satisfying. I'd be lying if I said we weren't tempted to, but that's not what but that's not what our teachers taught us. Yeah. We can def- we and may I defend would... our we may defend ourselves, but there's no reason to use violence on him, especially while he's in this state. Yeah, in the, me- in the meantime, yeah, we, need um, a, in the meantime we should get a move on. Yeah. Yeah. Good call. And I don't want to go against my, I don't want to get go against P- Professor Fluttershy's wishes anyway. And so, she but, is kind of the professor I made friends with. So, which way do we go now? I would expect south. Uh, you guys are currently right here. Move your place on where you'd like to go, where you travel. We are going to Kluge Town, just straight there. Whichever direction it is, we're just heading straight in that direction. Excellent. I need to roll the encounters for each day. Um, um, so I care to... It is a brand new day in the morning. Which direction um, are you heading? South. Straight south? Go ahead and move yourself. Yep. You should have access to this. There are chances of three encounters per day. I need you to roll a d20 for each uh, day, or each possibility. Who wants to make the roll? The three d20s. Um. I'll make the first. I'll make, I'll make the second roll. Or wait. Can we just roll the D twenties all at once, or re- roll them once and then let you explain what happens, if anything? So, uh, first things first. Uh, in the distance, uh, Derek Kitty, <laughs> you rolled a two. Uh, yeah. That means bad weather is coming. In the distance, you see a uh, sandstorm approaching. What does the party do? Mm. Mm. Um. Okay, so out of character, uh, Lord Lucon. Yes. Um. Um. It's a two fifteen. Uh, that's correct. Yeah. You still got forty five oh. minutes. All right. In the distance, you see a massive uh, storm, a sand a storm. What are you guys going to do? And. Uh. Is there any cover or nearby? You see nothing but open, wide open desert. 
Do you think, uh, do y'all think that uh, my uh, cloud burst thing might help? What do you expect? What do you expect it to do? If you can wrangle some windy, uh, breezy cloud, then yeah. Well, might as well give it a shot. Well, what do you expect it to do? Uh, I'm expected to find some clouds and hopefully to use them as makeshift cover for the dragon and everyone around it. So you're going to make a tornado? Yes, actually. So you're going to make what a tornado what? around the party? Mm-hmm. Nope. 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 Are you going to make a tornado and have us in the eye of it where everything, where nothing happens? Yeah, in the eye of the uh, tornado. Excellent. Can you control it? Can you control, can you control yeah, it? Possibly so it on us? God. Oh my god, no, no, no. Uh, can you control it so that it doesn't turn on us? Uh, I can control it fairly well. Fairly can, well. Can Radka crawl into the, the dog bag, please? Well, if y'all got any other ideas, I'm willing to listen. Um, so the first idea is make a tornado, and you guys are safe in the middle of the storm. What's yep. the next one? Uh, oh, boy. The next one would be to just the storm will hunker be on down. you soon. Hunker down inside the cart. You mean stay in the cart and let the sand blow over? Is it the kind of sandstorm that can bury us or just simply blast in our faces if we're out in the open? Hmm. Well, is there enough room in the cart for everyone? Uh, it'd be cramped, but yes. Um, 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 the storm will be on you within four minutes. Yes. It crawls into the cart. Yep. Uh, uh, I get it into the cart immediately. Is everybody uh, jumping in the yeah. cart? Oh, wait. Can Rekka reinforce the cart before she jumps in? Uh, how are you doing this? Uh, tying down uh, the oh, I don't have any rope or anything. Ah, poops. Never didn't mind. Learn I'm from having... the first episode. <laughs> no what? Rope. No rope. Don't learn from the first episode. Uh, <laughs> who else? Because I keep missing the Mart. Ah, oh, that tricky rope. Yep. Stupid tricky. Well, rope. I can use my. I can use. Telekinesis to hold things down. Is anybody I don't know force field? Ooh. That's another idea. Ooh, that helps. I could use force field. Good. Create a if you can create a force field around us. If there's any way I can help with that, otherwise Ooh. I can use my telekinesis. The storm will be on you in three minutes. Can we summon down. the displacer beast? What good will that do? Um, no, I don't oh, think it's why that's right. Never mind. The displacer beast won't help. Maybe. So we're going um, with force fields to you. I'm uh. Ew, this might be a little risky, but I think I want to try and get in. F while you're um right horn, while you're putting up your force field, I want to go right in front of the cart. I try and put up my lightning shield. Okay. So you, so while you're concentrating your force field, I'll do the same with my lightning shield up front. And I'll okay. be using my and I'll be using my telekinesis to keep us anchored 
to the ground. Okay. It's a right horn, you go first. Okay. Brighthorn, you are locked down at the DC of seven. The storm has to be a seven in order to break your force field. Uh, I want to team up with him with my lightning shield in front of the car. Excellent. Roll me your lightning shield as you do stack electricity. The DC to break that is 10. Ooh, yay! Anybody else doing anything? I'm using my telekinesis to pin us and the cart to the ground so that it doesn't blow over or blow away. Excellent. Roll me your telekinesis to hold the cart down in place. <laughs> DC to break that is a 12. I am uh, going to... Anything else before the storm hits? I am going to... Ooh. I am actually, I'm actually going to spend three tokens to make this a success. Oh, okay. Uh, you spent three tokens to auto-succeed. Uh, so there's no need for me to roll. Uh, <laughs> uh, a storm massive storm breaks. approaches you. Because if the storm breaks through the first two, it's going to be bad enough. Uh, the most is ensure that it's not going to blow us away. To be clear, you'll see what happens. Uh, so the storm does not get through the force field uh, at the very beginning. Uh, the wind and pebbles just... Uh, but the force field holds. Um, nothing happens. It's just sand and loose dirt. Uh, it's not as bad. It's a dust cloud, pretty much. It's not horrible. Uh, the storm passes by as quickly as it arrives. Uh, you are blinded for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, you can't see anything as the swirling sands and dust overcome you. That is the first encounter for the day. The storm passes by and your defenses hold. What do you do now? Hmm. Praise Jeebus. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah. I was I was next to Diamond Star and I just and I just kept I just kept a protective hope over her just to help keep her down. I think she wraps herself in like a hood, like keeps her uh face against like the cart. Uh right. but good thing that your ward protects everybody on there. Uh we'll go ahead and roll me for another encounter, guys. Let's see what happens. Okay, so roll me to one. Roll so me. let's keep oh. going step. Go ahead and roll my D twenty for the next. I will make a roll. Oh, never mind. Oh, all right, horn. Interesting. Oh, I don't like it when you say interesting. Let's see here, it's a five. Come with me. No. And you'll see. Nope. Da, 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 da. Shut your mouth. Uh, let's see here. Let's make sure everybody's with us. Mm -hmm. oh, that's the wrong one. It's this one, right? Pretty sure it's this one. <clears throat> After the storm hits, um, uh, in the distance, you see one, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, this is what you see. Uh, boop. Uh, boop. Boop. No boop for you. <laughs> <laughs> the party comes across what appears to be some Fordham of plants. Plants? Plants. Plant. Even in the vast desert, this is a rarity as you see these plants. <clears throat> Why do I have a bad feeling about these plants? Gather everyone up. Nope. 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 <laughs> I will have to take away privileges. 
I don't want to, but I will. <laughs> Paste. Wait. He's that fight. And you look fine. Uh... Even in the desert, there is still life. Uh, this is a rarity. These Thank are you. native uh, plants here. Thank you, David Attenborough. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you do as you approach these plants? I'm going to eat it. Do I recognize any of them? I don't know. Do you? Who's going up to the plants? I will. Snow will fly over to one of the uh, plants. Which one um, are you inspecting? Uh, the the one with the purple flower. Excellent. Roll me a mind as you attempt to identify this. If you have herbology or anything in regards to that, let me know. Hey, anyone going to assist? Uh, I can. You're not oh. You suffer the consequences. No, I don't want to suffer the consequences. Excellent. You quickly identify this as Chia Sage. Seeds of those plants are incredibly nutritious for their size. Nice. Uh, you know that they're not poisonous. Do you collect them? They could be helpful well, in a starvation uh, situation. Well, might as well. Do you harvest the plant? Can more than one people harvest? Uh, only the person who's identifying can harvest. These okay. are rare. These are rare. You're rare. Rare. You literally oh. had a roll of five. <laughs> well, I might as well might as well take them with us. We never know what we might need them. You harvest it. I want to check this plant right here. The one with the big uh, red flower on it. Excellent. Go ahead and roll me a uh, mind as you attempt to identify. Looks like a barrel cactus. <laughs> sure. Uh, oh, this is wheat. Oh, oh. It's wheat? It's wheat. Wheat? Wheat. Common wheat. wheat. In the middle oh. of the desert. Oh. I think that will get, oh, if you have wheat. a gluten allergy, it's super effective. Uh, good thing I'm not allergic. Do you want to take it? Um, yeah, I'll take it. Obtain suspicious wheat. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You harvest it. Uh, make sure you put in parentheses a red flower. Oh, crap. Suspicious wheat, red flower. That's not good. Equipment. I want to do this one. Need some uh, assist? You've been assisting, haven't you? You assisted with... Um... Never mind. Yep, yep, yep. You're busy uh, looking I over the I, I, I... I examined this flower. Excellent. Um, I'm out of character. Um, I'm not very good at spelling, so I don't know how to spell suspicious. Just put bad. <laughs> it, okay. Bad wheat. There you go. Strange wheat. <sighs> Strange, bad, whatever. That uh, wheat is... You know that this is a deadly drug called Datura. Ooh. Datura. Wait, didn't what we... kind of drug is it? Wait, didn't we encounter this in the uh, when we were all uh, on on the elemental plane of Earth? Uh, that is correct. Uh, yeah. Since you recognize that, go ahead and roll me a mind as you attempt to identify the red plant. <laughs> yep, you look over there and say, "Oh my God, that isn't wheat. That is silver leaf nightshade. That is extremely toxic." <laughs> Oh, well, um, can I ditch it? Can I get rid of it? Uh, I mean, if you want to. You know, like, toss it, toss it to the far opposite side. 
Sure. We go ahead and remove it from your inventory. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for thank okay. you for letting me know that. I want the nightshade. Uh, you obtain a uh, nightshade. Yes. <laughs> Vanilla oh, yeah, more... nightshade. <laughs> Wait. Uh, were you talking about the flower that I got? Yeah. Oh, okay, so yeah, you so go ahead and take it. Leaf Thank you. Nightshade. Nice. Yeah. Go ahead and take it. I want it. Me. So I got cake and I got silver leaf nightshade. Ooh, I could probably make that into a nice tea. Nice. Uh, this is recommended. <laughs> uh, this, is, uh, this is some bad stuff. It's a uh, bad stuff. Oh, well, I'm not going to ingest it. Okay. But maybe <laughs> Volvo. <laughs> um, and when you said this was a drug, would that be worthwhile for a pirate rave? It has special effects on horses. Let's just um, say that. Good special effects. Let's just Is say that, that it's in the news. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, uh, you know that this is dirt. Uh, Does anyone want to take the dirt? I shake my head. I will take the dirt. Dentura. Yep, you know this Dentura. is uh, bad stuff too. Vagina dentata. So, uh, what about this yellow flower here? This yellow one. Uh, it's already been identified. What uh, is the yellow flower? Give me a second. No? Uh, oh, okay, uh, that's the dentura. You examine the uh, yellow one, correct? You know that this is a prickly pear cactus. Prickly. Oh. Eep. <laughs> Their flat green pads are a good source of food in many arid regions. Hmm. Don't talk. Uh, that quilt hasn't been finished. Why are, you, why are you laying on that quilt? I'm still working. Okay, I guess I'm not working on that today. Yeah. Are you going to harvest it? Uh, I guess I'll take. I guess I'll take some. It's good in a survival situation. Ready? Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll take them. Uh, speaking of which, I hope everybody has rations. As you wander out in the middle of the desert, everybody mark off a food ration if you have one. Oh! Mm. Um, and if we don't? Uh, ask your uh, companions. I got some silver leaf nightshade and some dentura if you'd like. <laughs> Might be better than the alternative. <laughs> Starving All and... I yeah, All I got is cleaning out. supplies, fruit, and sage. Woof. If you die, I got, got pony bomb. Got some food I saved. Oh, oh, that's where these that's where what we just harvested also might become helpful. Those prickly pears and the other sage, the sage. stuff. Yeah, the sage. Yes, the sage and the prickly pear. Are you going to eat um, them? How do you spell prickly? It's it's in the chat. It. Okay. Oh. Uh, all the plants here are harvest. You guys quickly realize, like, oh man, we should have brought food and water. <laughs> We're traveling oh. the desert. Hmm. Oh, that would. Um, how many prickly pears do I get? Just one. That's correct. You only obtain one. Okay. These are rare items here in the middle of the desert. Um, well, I think I'll... Ooh. I think I'll have my one hay jerky I have. Okay. Oh, okay. We don't have to worry about water. I can make a never-end bottle of water. It has a swimming pool's worth of water in it. 
question is it is it drinkable water because if it is as in it's not I'm going to, it's gonna we're st it won't fix our problem if it's not drinkable it's drinkable okay good so i want to so do even you have the resources to build it <laughs> oh um I only have my one hate jerky. No, but I also can just wing it by rolling two d6s. Well, I mean, you don't just create anything out of nothing, so it's not magic. Well, it's alchemy. No, actually, the alchemy talent is to make a potion. A, po a pony must spend an hour mixing and prepare all the, and preparing the ingredients, then roll a d6 twice. Ingredients. <laughs> yeah. Do you it, have it? Do you have what it takes to make it? Okay, so are you so um, after rolling, read the ingredient entry on the row and the column on the table below that corresponds to the roll results to find out which potion the pony made. Uh, so you're going to go random on the potion. Yeah, there. unless for um, never end bottle, I need to put it in smoke breath, tuft of cloud, and queen's foil herb. You're in the desert. You're not going to find that there, here. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Good luck with that. You might be able to purchase some at Cluj Town, but probably not in the middle of the desert find some. Ooh, I could have used to talk to plants and get the plants to move. Instead, you ripped them up. <laughs> Man. Still got poisonous stuff. I'm okay. <laughs> um. Hmm. Anyway, so I just, so I just had my hay turkey that I saved, so I ate that. Oh, maybe, maybe I can fly over and find any clouds and see if they can, if they have any water in them. Well, here's a trick. What if we use the ice bow to target a cloud? ahead of us so that when it starts raining down ice it won't be over our heads and we can simply place some buckets and containers that won't be destroyed by the ice but instead collect the ice so when it that when it melts into water we can drink that where do you have ice from clouds you have to the ice bow oh yeah we could do that in a cloud with it, and make and when it starts raining ice, we collect the ice in buckets and containers. Well, we get hit with the ice shards. That's why we shoot it at a cloud that's ahead of us, not directly over us. So, how do you get the buckets under it? Exactly. <laughs> we place the buckets first, back off, then we shoot the cloud. Um. Do you have and buckets? You... Let's see. Let's check and see what we got. If we have buckets. Or barrels or anything that's strong enough that it won't be destroyed by the ice as well. No, I don't. No, I. No, I don't think we have those. It's your food. We could always dump out the pu get a puppy from the strange bag that smells like wet dog and eat that. Wow. No. Ew! No, no, I'm pretty sure that violates. No, no, no! No, I'm sure that violates some. I'm rude. Um, so what did your party do today? We starved and ate puppies. <laughs> Actually, um, I just had some. I just had some hay jerky, so I'm, so I'm pretty good. Uh, wait, I still have a cup of hot chocolate. And didn't we use that? Yep. Okay, oh, that's what I'm... Mark it okay, off. that's my food. That's Volo's food. <laughs> Volo already had the cup of hot chocolate. He's sitting pretty. He's the only one that ate anything in the morning. <laughs> I had some Wait. vanilla cake. That is true. Well, we may not do something with water or food right now, but I can probably do something about the heat. Maybe that can help a bit. Uh, currently, it's midday, but it's not unbearable. It's hot, but it's not like roasting hot. Don't worry, we'll get there. <laughs> oh, Lord. 
Uh, You're not there yet. You haven't rolled it yet. Question. Go ahead. If in the strange bag that smells like wet dog, it has as much food and drink that they need to keep them young as long as they stay in, does that mean that when we reach in, we could grab some of the food and drink? No. It's for puppies. Darn. Not for yaks who are hungry for puppy. <laughs> Tastes like well, chicken. Anyone Anyways, got any um, ideas? Can we move on? Uh, are you uh, moving on? This is yes, the let's last poll yeah. of the day. Might as well. Go yeah, ahead and get that Yeah, roll. might as well. Uh, yeah, night begins to on descend on end. you. Hmm? Yeah. Ooh. 14. Uh, nothing happens. Just the empty void of uh, the endless desert. Hello? Uh, nothing happens. Hey, you. Let him speak. Don't give him ideas. Nothing happens. Speaking of nothing oh. happens. Let's go ahead and move you guys back up here. Lucon, yes. we can't hear you. Nothing happened. Can you not hear me? I do see. Oh, boy. Lord Lucon. Hello. Mm -hmm. You should be able to hear me. Huh. That's weird. Server sites disconnected. That's working, that's working, that's working. There we go. Internet died. Since we have internet access. Got internet access. Hello? 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 Discord's not even up. Steam's going. Let's try Discord. Hello? Hello? Something's going wrong with Discord. Hmm. Let's pause this right here.